Hey there, friends. Do you ever hear from or are around so many stupid people that they make you feel like ridiculously smart, like super intelligent? First, guys, go check out my friends, Mission First Tactical. That's Mission First Tactical. These guys have some incredible stuff. Personally, my favorite is a new Acro CCW bags. These bags are freaking awesome. They have a very subtle look to them. They don't have an overly tactical appeal to them. So even if you are carrying, it's not going to make you stand out, if you know what I mean. They also have their brand new translucent EXD magazines. These things are unbelievable. A little bit more detail on those in a future video you'll have coming up from me. And also backup iron sights. These are some legitimate backup iron sights. These are metal, not those cheap plastic ones that you see from some of the guys out there. And then they have tons of other things like gun parts and holsters. Check them out. MissionFirstTactical.com. Again, MissionFirstTactical.com. Use my discount code FTATF. Again, my world famous discount code of FTATF will get you money off at the time of checkout. So back to the stupid people. We sometimes surround ourselves with people that challenge us to make us feel like we need to work harder to be better. And then sometimes we don't work too hard at it and we end up getting surrounded by really stupid people that make us seem really smart, but actually we get dumbed down <laughs> as we get closer to their level with that lowered bar. Here's an example. The New Orleans Police Department is investigating a mass shooting that happened outside a nightclub in the warehouse district Sunday night. Now I want you to pay particular attention to the wording mass shooting. Please understand at this point what we're dealing with as we listen to the rest of this article. The shooting killed one woman and injured 11 others just before midnight. Hmm, that doesn't seem like standard timing for a mass shooting, if you know what I mean. Not too many sociopaths are out trying to amass a body count at 11 p.m. at a what? The shooting happened in the 800 block of South Peters Street outside the nightclub Republic NOLA. 11 p.m. Nightclub. Mass shooting? No, it's not a mass shooting. It's a conflict shooting, just like I always say. This is not someplace you would have been or I would have been. This mass shooting is no danger to me because I will not be at a nightclub at 11 p.m. at night. Now, some law enforcement has said that there was some gang-related activity, so this is more likely a gang-related confrontational shooting where one person again perished. The council president, Helena Marino, who is an absolute moron, had this to say. Last night's mass shooting is incredibly tragic, and I have grave concern that we may see situations like this increase when the state's concealed carry law goes into effect. This law will make it even more difficult for New Orleans Police Department to take guns off our streets in New Orleans and prevent shootings. Okay, wait a minute. I know we're dealing with a dummy here, and I'm going to tag her in this video because sometimes you have to remind people how stupid they are because when they surround themselves with a bunch of stupid people, they think they're right all the time because the people are, oh, yeah, you're right. So I'm going to tag her in this and make sure she understands this. Let me get this straight. So she's saying that with the rampant crime in New Orleans already, the concealed carry or constitutional carry, rather, bill goes into effect July 4th. You got three months to go. So she's saying, oh, this is bad, but it's going to be worse whenever law-abiding people can carry guns without a permit. Not too sure I understand that because whether the person or persons who shot inside this night nightclub had a permit or not does not matter. State of Louisiana, you cannot carry with a concealed carry permit inside a bar. So they were breaking the law no matter what. How would permitless carry have changed this situation? Because the same requirements, if you have a permit and want to carry in the state of Louisiana, will be applied for permitless carry. So even a permitless carry person after July 4th would not be able to legally carry inside a nightclub or a bar. So nothing changes. And what I mean by that is the same person who chose to break the law by bringing the gun inside this bar would do it again. They knew they were breaking the law, so they'll still know <laughs> they're breaking the same law. Really stupid people. 
To add to that, this idiot council president, Helena Marino, says this law will make it even more difficult for New Orleans Police Department to take guns off our streets. So how does a permitless carry law make it more difficult for New Orleans PD to take guns off the streets? Well, wait a minute. If these people are permitless, permitlessly carrying and they've committed no crimes and they are not, quote, prohibited people, why would the NOAPD or the NOPD want to take those guns off the street? These people have done nothing wrong. These guns belong on the street. These are law-abiding Americans who have done nothing wrong. They're not committing a crime. They have committed no crimes. So why would this person seek to take these guns off the street? And believe me, there's not just one stupid person in New Orleans. Every single politician essentially in New Orleans is ate up with the dumbass. Here's another one. Congressman Troy Carter also issued a statement regarding the shooting. Quote, last night's mass shooting in New Orleans is a tragedy. It is heartbreaking to see gun violence devastate our city, our neighbors, and our loved ones. Homie, you ain't been doing a very good job because, quote, gun violence, violence in general in New Orleans has been like this since forever. You were crapping in your diaper and crime was still like this in New Orleans. So it ain't gun laws. It ain't nothing like that. It's the people in New Orleans who are the problem, not any kind of silly little law against law-abiding Americans. He goes on to say, my prayers are with the victims and their loved ones. We urgently need, quote, common sense gun reform measures and violence reduction programs in our community. Common sense gun reform. You know what we just did, old Troy? We implemented common sense gun reform. We reformed the permit carry law into a permitless carry law. So we just got some common sense gun reform, right? Thank you very much. This is going to make a difference. Because when your boys start getting a little bit of lead therapy in them, they're going to realize the good guys are now carrying guns. You are going to see a reduction in New Orleans of this crime. Why are the politicians so hell-bent against permitless carry? Because I want to make another point. They're using this gang shooting to talk about making New Orleans as a whole a gun-free zone once that permitless carry bill goes into effect. That's right. All these people are using this gang shooting as a reason to make New Orleans off limits for anybody that wants to permitless carry. How stupid. How stupid can you possibly be? Now, since the politicians, more specifically in the New Orleans area and Baton Rouge, a lot of dumb ones there too, since they have this third grade mentality and stupidity, and I, I apologize to the third graders out there for that too, by the way, um, I feel like these people only know how to deal with flashcards and primary colors. So I've put together a little exercise to try to help them understand what happens whenever you take law-abiding citizens out of an area who are carrying guns and you only leave your criminals carrying guns because you have no way of changing that. The law was already in place to prevent them from carrying. They're carrying anyway. So no new or old law makes a difference to these people. But check this out. Since we have so many dummies over there, I'm going to see if I can't help them a little bit. Here's your primary colors. These are M&Ms. There is no racial connotation or gender misinformation or anything. I just poured these out into what is essentially a crawfish tray here in the state of Louisiana that we eat boiled crawfish in. Okay, I want you to look at this. The red colors, like these right here, and I know the orange is kind of bland in, but these are red. <clears throat> Those are your criminals who are carrying firearms. Notice the green ones. The green ones are the good guys carrying guns. There's always going to be more good guys carrying guns in most places, except for maybe New Orleans, than there will be bad guys. If for some reason we make New Orleans a gun-free zone, then suddenly all these people who were going to be carrying won't be carrying. So all these people, all these green guys are gone now because they can't carry in the city limits of New Orleans anymore, right? 
Oh, we got a couple stragglers over here. And actually, that would be me because I'd still carry. But nevertheless, <laughs> this is what you have left. Notice what happened. All the good guys left. Did any of the bad guys. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. The same bad guys are still there. None of your little common sense laws made any difference with the bad guys. They're still there. The only thing that your law did was chase all the good guys out of New Orleans. Because they're the ones following the law. And they left because they cannot carry inside the city limits of New Orleans. So all of your friends in red are still illegally carrying a firearm in this city limits of New Orleans and everybody else is at greater risk because all the good guys left because they followed the law. That's the problem with these idiots in charge. They look to, in many cases, since they have a D behind their name, they look to the White House. They look to people to give them guidance because they're too stupid to know and to think on their own. So they need to know what they need to do to stay in good favor with everybody else in higher positions because once they get a taste of that politician life, they want it forever. The reason why we see these headlines using mass shooting instead of gang shooting is very, very simple. And some of these people are too stupid to realize why it's being used. But there are those who have created this trend that fully know what it is. And I'll tell you what it is. There are negative and positive connotations on those. When you say gang shooting, you automatically think people problem, right? That's what you think of. You think of gangs, you think of people, and you think, why aren't our community leaders doing something? That's what you think of. When you think of mass shooting, and I say you, I'm talking about, let's just say the average person, because I know we don't subscribe to this kind of thought, but the average person on the street who is just kind of mediocre IQ level and group thinking, when they hear mass shooting, they think guns are bad. So the mass shooting phrase is used no matter what, even when it is clearly a gang-related shooting or people fighting at a nightclub drunk. You know that's not a sociopath that snuck in there because he's over-medicated, bullied, and all this other kind of stuff, and randomly indiscriminately shot people. This person was there already, brought a gun illegally with them, and got in a fight and started shooting at people, killed one person, and shot 10 or 11 other people. So the whole reason why they use this type of nomenclature, the wording matters. Mass shooting, guns are bad. Gang shooting, you people need to do something about your residents in your city. So it takes all the pressure off of the city leaders, if you will, and I, boy, I talk about a loose use of that word. But the city leaders are off the hook when you say mass shooting. The city leaders are on the hook when you say gang shooting. So they run like their hair is on fire from a gang shooting to hurry up and call it a mass shooting. So that's why they do it. It is purposefully done. Again, most of these people are too stupid to know that's why it's being done. But trust me, there are some very smart people on the anti-gun left, and they know what they're doing. And these idiots follow them lockstep. And this is why the wording matters in these cases. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. He's on the